Some grown-ups will remember playing the childhood game of electric football as if it were yesterday. That's because they were playing it yesterday, and they'll be back for more today. This is a supercharged topic, as Bill Geist explains. Hello, everybody. It's a beautiful Super Bowl Sunday, and weather should not be a factor at today's big game between the Chicago Bears and the Kansas City Chiefs, held here at the Embassy Suites in Baltimore, Maryland, just off the lobby. You heard Detroit? Nope, this is it, the Super Bowl of electric football. With hundreds of games contested by top players from throughout the country. Nice play to stop it. <laughs> drawn by the seductive call of buzzing board. That buzzes music to my ears. <laughs> How many players are going to be here this weekend? Well, we'll probably have six, seven hundred. We've got them from all over the United States. Michael Landsman is commissioner of the Electric Football League and president of Miggle Toys, which makes the game. It's a real social game. It's a game of strategy. It's a game of camaraderie, as opposed to the computer games where you sit there and they're totally antisocial. That was tough. Man. Just got... Norbert Revels from Detroit is the reigning Super Bowl champion yes. and a favor to repeat this year. Wow. He's a master butcher by trade, both off and on the vibrating metal field, who puts in long hours of practice practice and developing plays and developing bases, I, I, would, I would say six hours, five to six hours a day. The game's really evolved since I used to play it with my brother back in the 1950s. Back then, the players would stand still or go around in circles or run the wrong way. No. Electric football was a kid's game. Yeah, that's a ball game. Now it's played by thousands of grown men. Did you see that defense? Well, grown physically, anyway. <laughs> they play with gusto. Booyah! And with the occasional touch of clinical hysteria. Hey! One yard, you're through! Do you talk to your players? Not, not just talk, but praying. Talk. You say a team prayer? Yes, I, I put my team in the middle of the football board, around in a circle. <laughs> Right in the middle of the board, around a circle, and I take my hat off, and I say a prayer, and then when I get up, let's go! Let's go. <laughs> Players love the strategy and the competitiveness, not to mention the neato little collectible figures. That's the real I'm blown away, man. I'm blown away. This Picasso of plastic players can actually paint names on their backs. Now look at the Ricky Williams with the dreadlocks. It's amazing. There are little plastic officials, cheerleaders, even TV crews. That's me on the sidelines at the Super Bowl. The footballs themselves look like Q-tips or Advil that can be punted, kicked, and passed. Let's see that one in slow motion. Are you a good passer? Excellent. Norbert's great in every phase of the game. Good game, thank you. Norbert Rebel. Norbert and his little plastic Kansas City Chiefs play their way into the final Super Bowl game. Big Keith Chalmers. Where they'll meet the Chicago Bears, coached by Keith Chalmers from Washington, D.C. That's big Keith to you, who looks ready for a championship fight. What's so proudly we hail as the twilight's last gleaming. Let's play some football. All right. Super Bowl 12 is underway. First and 10 at the 23 yard line. And on the very first play, number 20 breaks to the outside and look out. Keats running back sprints 77 yards for a touchdown. Oh, okay. Touchdown! As his Bears take an early lead. The Bears score first. Touchdown, KC! Norbert fights back with a touchdown pass. 
but Keith kicks a field goal to take a 9-6 lead, and it's time for the big Super Bowl halftime extravaganza. Let's settle down. That's what I want to do. The Rolling Stones, it's Just not. Me and you. The second half is an epic defensive struggle. Pass is incomplete. Incomplete. Interrupted only by a lost ball. <laughs> the ball is found <laughs> And a phone call. I'll call you back in the middle of a Super Bowl. <laughs> but when all the buzzing's over, Game is it's over! over. <laughs> it's Big Keith and his Chicago Bears will be fitted for the 2006 Super Bowl ring. Number champion! No word yet about a Super Bowl victory parade. Not even a really little itsy-bitsy one.